Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is max consecutive ones. So in this question, we're given an array nums and we have to return the maximum number of consecutive ones inside the array. So in this example, there are two consecutive ones, but there is also another set of ones which is longer than the previous set having three consecutive ones. So we return that as the output. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this can be solved. So I've taken the same example they've given us. So this is the nums array. So we are going to iterate through the nums array from left to right and we'll access each element at a time. So inside this for loop, we are accessing one element at a time using a pointer i. Right? So if that element at i is one, we increment the count and we compare it with the variable and store the max of max and count inside this variable. And we finally return max as the output. So we start from i is equal to 0. So the element at 0 is 1. So increment count. And we also check max of max and count. So max of 1 comma 0 is 1. So set max also to 1. Then we go for the next element. Next element is also 1. So increment count. Count will become 2. Max of count and max is 2. So max will also become 2. Now go for the next element. It is 0. So make count 0. And check max of count and max max of count and max is 2 so max will remain 2 go for the next element it is 1 so increment count max of count and max is 2 comma 1 so max will remain 2 go for the next element next element is also 1 so increment count count is now 2 max of max and count is 2 comma 2 so max will remain 2 go for the next element it is also 1 so increment count max of max and count is 2 comma 3 so maximum 2 comma 3 is 3 so change max to 3 and go for the next element and now we reach the end of the array so we end the iteration and finally return whatever is present inside max max contains 3 so 3 is our output so this will be the range where max is equal to 3 so you return 3 as the output now let's code it up in java so this is the function given to us and this is the input array nums and we need to return our integer variable denoting the maximum number of consecutive ones. So let's start off by creating the result variable. So max is going to be the output we are going to return, which will denote the maximum number of consecutive ones. And again, I'm going to create a variable count, which will be used to count the number of ones in each set. Now let's iterate through the input array nums using a for loop from starting to end. Now we have to check if the element at the height pointer is a 1 or not. If that element is 1, we increment the count variable denoting there is a 1 and we check if it is the maximum streak until now. And in the else block, it means that that number is not a 1. If it is not a 1, we set back the streak to 0. So this for loop will happen for all the elements inside the nums array and finally we have the result inside the variable max. Let's return that. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the number of elements inside the nums array and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra data structure to solve this question. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.